switch this around, so I'm just going to let it roll for a second. guys about this so uh we are heading in it's my photojournalist Vic or I'm sorry oh my god I'm so used to working with Victor Tyler and I and we're heading into the Caldor fire we just pulled over on the side of highway 50 um to bring you guys a live update on ABC 10 for their 11 o'clock news I'm gonna turn around the camera because it's starting to look really incredible with uh, with this heavy smoke you can see the red of the you know the flames is reflecting off of the smoke too so um, we're about gosh two miles from Pollock Pines um, and we've been told that um, you know all the folks there are currently getting evacuated and so look at you can just see that this uh, the entire uh, sky is just completely filled with smoke. Wow, look at that. And you know, um, right now we're currently not seeing a lot of people evacuated, but I think one of the concerning things for this area is there's not a ton of evacuation routes. So here's what it's looking like, everyone. You wanna go, we can pull over if we need to get shots too. almost looks like dusky I would say it looks like a sunset or something with these colors um yeah and so we we're right now we're on highway 50 heading into Pollock Pines we're just like a mile down the road um and you know this is about 10-15 minutes from Placerville um you know this area is home to Apple Hill um just a huge amount of uh recreation and camping areas um, we're kind of trying to figure out where we're going here as as we go but we're just going to show you like what we're seeing um obviously it's not the greatest reception hopefully you guys are seeing us okay up here and um you know we were just listening to our meteorologist on air when we went live with you guys and she said there's a red flag warning which is really concerning and when you step outside you can feel the wind and you can just feel how hot and dry it is for this area um if you actually you can we just pulled over because we're trying to figure out our way but you can see look at this you can see the smoke you can see there's little particles in the air already see on the on our car here to be overshot by just okay bit. so we're turning around to get into Pollock Pines but again look at the sky here wow there's the sun up there just completely covered in smoke yeah and you can start to see this is something new we're seeing is these little particles in the air showing you know how how there's a there's a fire happening stuff is uh you know burning so it looks like ash yeah it looks like ash in the air and you can just see on the side of the road what a uh, forested area this is which you know is of course concerning for these 
for these firefighters. So we're kind of heading the opposite way because we turned around a little bit. Uh, got a little turned around, but you can see. And when we were heading uh, past Placerville, you can just see the amount of people that are being evacuated. You know, there's a little area there that is, uh, that always is a little bit trafficy for Placerville, but that area was just completely backed up as, you know, it's heading towards Sacramento. There's the sign for where we're heading. So you can see there's just a huge amount of smoke and the fires and everything. And then if you look over here, it's kind of crazy. It's completely clear. Again, this is, uh, we're heading into Pollock Pines. We're just about a mile away. Um, and again, about 10 or 15 minutes ago, we passed, uh, we passed Placerville. Um, I have a couple of friends up in this area. They said, you know, they're, they haven't been evacuated yet, but they have a to-go bag, which is always good. Um, I have a friend who said her in-laws are evacuating currently. Um, so, you know, it's very concerning for the folks up here. And, you know, this is a really popular area for recreation. We were just talking about how there's wineries up here. There's Lava Cap Winery, Apple Hill, so popular. Um, so it's just like, it's kind of, you know, scary to see what's happening when, uh, when you come up here and you're used to it definitely not looking this way so I'm trying to show you guys the smoke we're kind of heading the opposite direction a little bit so I'm trying to keep you guys updated as we head in I'm just looking if you have any questions feel free to comment I'll try my best to answer them um it's my understanding the evacuation order for Pollock Pines was initially Suggestion and then recently turned into mandatory. So that just shows how quickly this is moving. This is where we are right now. There's the sign for Pollock Pines next to exits. And we're heading on the side of the road where, you know, there's other there's people heading out, heading down to Sacramento. But I'm trying to show you guys the fire on this side. I'm sorry if it's making you a little dizzy. But I'm. Um, let me try to do it out of the back. All right, we're getting off here, exiting two Pollock Pines. 